So my research is looking at the sort of care that women in Australia have after they've been treated initially for early breast cancer. We've got a series of hormone blocking therapies available to women in Australia that are publicly subsidised that enormously reduce the risk of recurrence and death from, ca from cancer. Um, what we know from the international literature is that these therapies aren't used for nearly as long as they, they need to be to get those results, which is, which is five years or more. So we were interested in how long women in Australia were using these hormone blocking therapies for, whether they were switching between therapies, uh, what side effects and other things they might be experiencing, and really looking at who was missing out on, on the adequate length of treatment. Sure is what's made my research possible. Um, obviously working with health data like this to look at, at care for these women who have had breast cancer, uh, it's highly sensitive data. We, we have information on all of the prescriptions they've had filled, when they've been to hospital, um, we sadly have death records for those who have passed away, um, cancer records so we know when they were diagnosed. Really sensitive information. Um, it's wonderful not to have to approach women or their families directly for this information because it's of such a, a sensitive nature. Um, so, so using the data we have and keeping it stored securely uh, is incredibly important and that's what SHORE's allowed us to do. It's allowed us to have um, security really that's, that's of an adequate level for all the custodians of those data sets uh, to be happy for a researcher to look at it. Uh, the data, uh, because they belong a lot to the Commonwealth, most of the data sets I work with, so they're stored very safely uh, on the East Coast, uh, I wouldn't have been able to access them from Western Australia. So what Shaw's allowed me to do is to keep working at my home institution, um, so I didn't have to relocate to, to uh, be able to conduct my research. And then recently I've actually moved to, to New South Wales for family reasons and I've been able to bring my research with me. And uh, what I would have had to do otherwise is, is either stop that research or, or try and find someone else to hand it over to. So without sure, I just wouldn't have been able to continue. We're able to access these highly sensitive data from anywhere in Australia or, or internationally with the right security conditions. So that's meant that researchers uh, in many states, not just in, uh, in Sydney or Canberra, are able to access these data. And also for people working in regional Australia, this has opened up access to data that just wouldn't have been possible without sure. Many of us are using linked data now. We know how sensitive it is, and we know all the concerns that custodians have about the way that those data are stored. Um, I was around for some of the early discussions about alternative models for accessing sensitive data like this. Uh, a lot of it involved uh, solutions that really would have been unworkable for researchers. There's no lag. Uh, the experience of using it is completely natural, as if the data was stored on your machine, um, but with all the security and privacy benefits of, of having that data stored elsewhere and being backed up uh, and secured by, by other parties too. So I think it's a fantastic solution.